Welcome to the Coily Code. As you know, I have been on a wash and go regimen for the last two months and it has been life changing. I have been able to see my hair do some amazing things I didn't even know it was capable of doing. And I'm delighted and grateful that I can do wash and goes now with my hair. <laughs> but if you don't know, my goal is to eventually grow my hair to like elbow. But the goal for this year is a little bit past my trapezius muscle, not my shoulder, but a little bit like at the the top of my the neck sort of with that being said there are practices that are more beneficial to length retention than just doing wash and goes a wash and go is you style your hair every four days which i've been enjoying again and you apply your stylers and you just let your hair do what it wants to do and you reset it you know every four days some people can go even longer do it every week and it's a very low manipulation hairstyle now a long-term protective style is one that you would probably leave in for some women do three months, others do two weeks. So it just depends on your scalp and your chemistry and what in your lifestyle and what you're able to do. So a long-term protective style is one that you are hiding your hair, you're tucking your ends, and you are leaving it that way for a longer period of time. Now, the reason why I'm shifting from a wash and go to a long-term protective style, this was actually a part of my original strategy for the year is that every quarter I would change it. So quarter one, wash and goes, quarter two, protective styles, quarter three, wash and goes, quarter four, protective styles. And I found that this gave me the flexibility to style my hair and if I, so that I wouldn't get bored with a style. But a YouTuber I follow is doing a 90 day protective style challenge and she's starting in March and I wanna start with her. And that's why, so I'm giving myself an additional month as opposed to finishing out this quarter in a wash and go, but I wanted to actually do this challenge. I'm giving myself actually an additional month of 120 days of protective styling. So maybe I'm cheating, but that just means more like and so that's why I am shifting. It's still part of my original strategy, but it has nothing to do with wash and goes not being good for me. So wash and goes are low maintenance. They enhanced my coil pattern and it also increased the health of my hair. I have just seen my hair transform because of wash and goes. The only drawback to wash and goes is I am in my hair more often. While I don't use tools to detangle my strands, the tangling does take a toll on it. No matter what, I have very fine strands, I have low density. So the most gentlest touch can maybe cause breakage. Single strand knots have not been an issue for me. I think with just the increased hydration, my, my ends don't knot up together. It's been pretty miraculous. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest and say, this is this can cause knotting. And sometimes I get knots and tangles, but not single strand knots, but I do get tangles. And so it's just, that's still a lot of wear and tear on my hair. And it's just important to have balance. Protective styles are probably the best choice when you are trying to retain length. It is to me the best to hold on to your hair growth <laughs> because there is very, very low manipulation. You are setting your hair for a duration of two weeks or more, like usually four to six weeks is considered like long-term, but two weeks would be a, lot, a long time for me to not do anything with my hair. And so protective styles have a way of just boosting that length retention. Granted, I could probably still gain the same length I get with a wash and go regimen with a protective style as well, but with the, the minimal change chances of manipulating my hair on a regular basis, that's going to actually help me retain length a lot quicker. The only drawbacks to a protective style is that they can cause tension on the scalp. So it's important to know what your hair and scalp prefers. My hair and scalp hates cornrows. As soon as I put my hair in cornrows, no matter how loose I braid them, it will begin flaking, itching, and causing a lot of tension. If not installed properly, protective styles can actually lead to breakage because of dryness. And uh, that's the last thing I wanna do after getting my hair acclimated to moisture. So that lets me know that I will probably do my protective style frequency every two weeks as opposed to every four weeks. I just don't know if I want to chance ruining my hair's moisture retention levels <laughs> by doing that. And protective styles can also lead to hair loss if you're not careful. So just make sure you install them properly and to the comfort that, that you can take. I don't believe beauty is pain anymore. I don't believe that my hair has got to be tight for it to be right. I feel like my hair is great as it is. And if my protective style wants to frizz up and everything after three days, I'll let it frizz up. I'm okay with frizz. I love my hair. 
So I'm super duper excited about this journey. And again, it gives me a chance to style my hair in other ways, but still allows for me to protect my hair and get to those goals. Now, if I didn't have length goals, I probably would just keep doing wash and goes, but I do have a length goal and that's very important when it comes to discipline and making those sacrifices to get to where you wanna go in life. So please God, I will be starting that March 2nd because I'm washing it on the 1st and stretching it as well with no heat i'm gonna let it just plait it up and i'll show you guys the whole process but i will be installing it and you guys will get to see what it is i'm excited to do them and yeah so anyway i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any tips and techniques about protective styles please let me know in the comments below and again if you're doing wash and goes do not make this video stop you i have been so encouraged to see that some of you have felt the push to try wash and goes for yourself because of my videos <laughs> It makes me so happy. So please don't take this video as don't do wash and goes. I just happened to sh tweak my my frequency and my schedule a little bit because I wanted to join this YouTuber on her 90 day protective style challenge. All right, have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video.